So he decided to meet with this young girl because he liked how young she was. On September 19th, 2023, a detective from Carroll County contacted the Benton County Sheriff's Office about a man named Colton DeMeyer. They had received a report that Colton DeMeyer, known as Colt, had been contacting young girls on social media and talking to them in an inappropriate manner. These were minors. They were girls that were clearly minors, and he would send them messages that say things like, hey, sexy, and hey, gorgeous. So there was already, I guess, what would be a fake account set up to catch predators that are preying on children, and Colt DeMeyer was already a friend on that account. But it wasn't until around 11.30 on September 21st that Colton really started communicating with that account. So that account reached out to Colt DeMeyer and asked him, how are you? To which Colt DeMeyer responded, I'm good. And so they continued talking. Colt DeMeyer actually sent the person on that account a message verifying their young age. And that person said that they were really that old uh, and then sent, you don't want to talk, that is fine. I am, I wish I was older. To which Colt DeMeyer said basically he will talk to the person. He just didn't want to get in trouble. It was just a day later that Colt DeMeyer started asking who he thought was a young girl for nude photographs. Just for clarification, Colt DeMeyer is a 47-year-old adult male who lives in Green Forest, Arkansas. And Colt DeMeyer set up to drive two hours all the way to Salem Springs to connect with who he thought was a minor, a young girl. Colt DeMeyer repeatedly asked for nude photographs and sent extremely sexually explicit messages that I don't even want to talk about. Not only was Colt DeMeyer trying to get nude photographs from this account, but he sent nude photos of himself as well. So Colt DeMeyer arranged to come and meet this young girl on September 25th, 2023. But he didn't show up in Salem Springs. It wasn't until September 26th, 2023, that he actually came to Salem Springs because he said that he had to work on the 25th. So he rearranged meeting for the next day. Cole DeMeyer arranged to meet who would be the victim in a parking lot. But in the parking lot, police were waiting for Cole DeMeyer. So shortly after Cole DeMeyer pulled into this parking lot, he was met with several police vehicles on both sides of him, but he tried to get away. He tried to go around them, going through a yard, and ended up getting into an accident which stopped his fleeing. Inside the vehicle of Colton DeMeyer, police located one condom. So anything that Colton DeMeyer might say, like he wasn't coming to actually have sex with a child, he really didn't have that excuse because he had a condom with him. He came prepared to have sex with a child. So after Colton DeMeyer was treated at a hospital for injuries that he received during his accident, he was interviewed by police. And this is the part that just really makes my stomach turn, to be honest. Colton DeMeyer did confirm that he drove almost two hours to get to Salem Springs to meet up with this victim that he intended to have sex with the victim, but then he said he wasn't sure if he could have gone through with it. He said he had been lonely and horny lately and that he was excited because of how young the victim was. And that's the part that gets me right there. He was excited because of how young the victim was. Colton DeMeyer did admit to sending inappropriate photographs to the account without being asked for them and said that he asked several times for pictures, inappropriate pictures, nude photographs from the person that he was talking to because he wanted to use them to pleasure himself. And also, according to Colton DeMeyer, he had been looking for an underage female. He had sent messages to other underage females on social media. He hadn't asked for those nudes, but he, in my opinion, was like gearing up to do exactly what he did on this day. I mean, it, it just seemed like, why do you suddenly start adding young girls to your platform? You're excited about how young this girl is. 
it really doesn't make sense other than that he was looking forward to having sex with an underage girl and that he was like scoping out looking for a girl to choose for this purpose. Of course, that is just my opinion. So Colton DeMeyer was arrested on September 26, 2023. He was charged with an entire slew of charges, internet stalking of a child, possession of a CSAM, sexual indecency with a child, possession of drug paraphernalia, fleeing by vehicle, and reckless driving. I will update as more information becomes available in this case, but for right now, Colton DeMeyer is exactly where he needs to be in the Benton County Detention Center. I wanted to include a couple of other things. The first one is this. I did get this from Facebook, um, but I did intentionally cut the name off because it's not important and there's no need to harass a family about one of their possible family members. The fact is that they do say if you have been a victim of Colton DeMeyer, you do need to contact the police. So I urge you to do so. The second thing is these messages that were posted anonymously. If you would like to read them, I urge you to pause and read. Otherwise, they're going to go through pretty fast. But basically, it's just one example of Colt DeMeyer preying on someone that he was told was a child, a 15-year-old in this case. And this is part of the conversation that he goes through. So it does make it clear that Colt DeMeyer was indeed looking for a child. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.